So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through the steps of being able to take a solution that you're building with PhoneGap and allowing you to be able to see that solution immediately on your iPhone, iPad or Android tablet. To do this, we're going to use a new solution that came out from the PhoneGap team called the PhoneGap Developer App. Now, essentially, if you're new to PhoneGap, uh, what PhoneGap is, is that it's one of the different types of solutions that you can use for building cross-platform applications for devices. And if you're in the um, application development world, you know that there's multiple different ways of being able to do this. Uh, you can do straight HTML and use HTML5 and JavaScript and CSS and build a website and have that render on your device and use responsive design. You can do native development with iOS, Objective-C, Android, J and, and Java, C++, or Windows in C Sharp. Or you can use a combination of uh, the two, which is called hybrid. And the way that hybrid works is that you have a framework uh, that is um, connected to the native app device itself, but uses HTML5 for a lot of the heavy lifting. So for instance, with PhoneGap, you use HTML to build out a lot of your solution uh, using frameworks such as jQuery, Mobile, or Bootstrap for the responsive design, and then JavaScript for adding in and connecting to the APIs. So what we're looking at here is a way for you to be able to test out the solution because testing is one of the big challenges when it comes to cross-platform um, solutions. And a lot of times when you're actually just going through and iterating through a solution, you want to see what it looks like on the devices without having to go through complete builds across multiple platforms. As a frame of reference, if you're creating a Windows solution, you generally want to be building on a Windows desktop with Visual Studio. If you're building a iOS application for the iPhone, then you need to be building on a Mac. And if you want to be able to see what this looks like real quickly, it's very difficult and complicated. The solution that's come out um, recently from the PhoneGap team is a solution called PhoneGap Developer App. And I have the PhoneGap Developer App um, website here. Essentially what the PhoneGap Developer App is, is a native app that you download onto either an iOS device or an Android device, and that's for both tablet and for phone. There is a Windows version coming out very soon. And what that app will allow you to do is that it will connect to your Wi-Fi network and you'll be able to transmit a small web server signal from your desktop which will install the app remotely onto the device. This will only work on your network, you won't be able to do it outside of your network. Um, so it gets uh, it's one of those things that if you have a client in and you want to show them what the solution looks like in real time, you can do that, but the client won't be able to leave your building and run the application remotely from their office. So. I'm going to go through and show you how to get up and started. It's really quick. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go out and install the developer app on your device. This is the uh, Google Play uh, link and you can go out and it will install uh, onto any Android device uh, 4.0 and above I believe. Um, and I actually have it running on a Nexus 7. I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes. And of course you can go over and on Apple's website. Here I have the uh, iPad version that you can download and have that up and running. And like I said before, there is a Windows version coming out fairly soon. So I'm just going to go and jump back into uh, my terminal window because this is where I'm going to be doing a lot of my work. So um, if you're on a Mac, you do want to have a terminal up and running. Uh, so you can go in and uh, open that up. I have it running here. And I also have a cheat sheet of um, tools that I'm going to be using in my application. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the latest version of PhoneGap installed. And to do that, you want to run this command. All these commands will be on the website. Um, I've already got the latest version of PhoneGap, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and run it again so you can see what it looks like. I'm just going to come over to Terminal. I'm going to paste this in, and we're going to let it run. It's going to ask for my password. I'm going to type that in. get it right this time. There we go. And so it's going to go ahead and pull down all of the bits and the bytes. It only takes a couple of minutes. I have a fairly slow uh, internet connection, uh, but you'll find that it will download fairly quickly and you'll be up and running. Um, the 
reason why you want to do this, um, if you've already been using PhoneGap, is that the new PhoneGap developer app services that you need to have running locally on your developer machine um, are only just included with the latest release. So while that's running, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the next step. We're going to go ahead and we're going to run a command that's going to call out the PhoneGap app locally on my desktop. And I'm going to use the create command to create a new project. And I'm going to call my new project my dev. And it should then go ahead and create a folder on my desktop that I'll show you, which is my dev folder. And we'll go ahead and there's a couple more steps after that where we go ahead and can serve up the app from the my dev folder. And there we are, we we're all up and running. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create the new project. Create my dev. You'll see that I'll be installing this on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And we've gone ahead and created the new folder. So I'm just going to open up my finder. And here we have my dev. And as you'd expect, we have all of the phone gap folders and files in here. The most important one for the work that we're doing right now is the www folder where you put in your phone gap application. So that's looking good. Go back to my cheat sheet and I want to step into the my dev folder. So I'm going to change directory, step in, and I'm now going to ask phone gap to serve up the application. So as soon as I do this, what's going to happen is that I'm going to be starting up a server and the server is going to be called 10.0.1.22.3000. Again, this is only a private server on my network. So now for me to be able to view the application that I've created, I can go over to either my iPhone or Android device and change the settings so that I can actually see what this looks like. So I, because I don't have my device, um, I don't have a camera to show you the device, I took some screenshots earlier and I can show you what this looks like. So the first step is I open up the app on my iPhone and here the app starts up and the very first screen you see is a welcome screen. It says hello or hi. And then what you want to do is you want to connect to your server. Now I want to be able to show you how easy it is to go from one device to the next. Um, the next screen um, is actually from my Nexus 7, and it's actually the original Nexus 7, it's an older version, and you'll be able to see how the screen actually um, came up and, and rendered on that device really easily. So here we are, here's the uh, Nexus 7. So without having to install or sideload any apps, I was able to test out my application with all my plugins from my device um, in real time. This is a huge time saver. Uh, as I can see using this as I build out uh, phone gap solutions in the future um, to really reduce the amount of time I spend on testing because I can literally have all my devices on my network and I can be testing against them um, so I can actually see what the changes look like in real time. This is particularly of interest when I'm building solutions that run on both phone and tablet because I can see on the different OSs how the tablet and phone experience will be different. So a couple of additional uh, things you want to uh, check out is that it, you can actually come in in real time and I can, I'll just close out this preview, I can come back and I can go into my dev folder or whatever you decide to name your folder and I can go in and in real time I can edit the uh, uh, HTML5, JS, uh, CSS files, image files right in on the project and on the device I can do a four finger tap and that four finger tap will then refresh the screen so I'm forcing out the latest information. What will happen in your template in your terminal window is that you'll actually then see that the uh, screen will refresh and you will see all of the different files that will be sent out to the device. I'm going to show you what that looks like. There we go, there's all the files being um, sent out. And if I do a four finger tap on my device, the files get sent out again. Really easy to uh, reload on your device. If you are done with um, testing uh, for the time being, you can do control C and that will actually turn off the server sending out the signal. And you will not then be able to test on your device. But 
That's something you would do at the end of the day. So there we are. That's uh, the new PhoneGap developer app. Makes it easier for you to build solutions. You can go ahead and download it today.